I think most people would have to agree, even those who hate the Bills. What is up, Bills Mafia? We have 286 days to go until the Buffalo Bills win Super Bowl 57, and this channel is going to drop a video every single day leading up to that amazing moment when you and I can celebrate a Super Bowl championship. It is time now for my second power rankings. This is my post-draft power rankings, ranking my top 10 teams in the NFL after they decided on their number one overall pick. Let's see if anything changed from my last one. The Dallas Cowboys fall out of my top 10. I just don't think they improved much in the draft, getting an offensive lineman in the first round. They did get a wide receiver with their third pick, but that's not going to be an upgrade from Amari Cooper. Taking the boys' place at number 10, the Denver Broncos. I probably should have had them in my top 10 the first time. They didn't have a first-round pick, but they did a nice job getting edge rusher Nick Benito from Oklahoma. Coming in at number 9, the 49ers. They dropped back one spot. They didn't have a first-round pick. And then they took an edge rusher and running back with their first two picks. And the Packers moved up to the number eight spot after picking up linebacker Quay Walker out of Georgia in the first round to take the place of Zadarius Smith. They also landed wide receiver Christian Watson out of North Dakota State. He's no Devontae Adams, but he could end up being a nice addition for Aaron Rodgers. At number seven, I have the Rams. They fall one spot back for the simple reason they didn't have a pick until the third round. Hey, those picks traded away ended up with a Super Bowl trophy. Number six, I have the Bengals jumping up one spot. They bolstered their pass defense by picking up defensive backs with their first two picks, including Daxton Hill from Michigan. At number five, I have the Raiders. They didn't have a first round pick either and didn't wow anyone with their picks that they did have. Not to say they didn't do a good job, but taking a guard and then two running backs just isn't that inspiring. At number four, we have the Buccaneers. They drop one spot. They picked 33rd overall, and they landed defensive end Logan Hall out of Houston. The Bucs also took a punter. Who drafts a punter? Taking the Bucs spot at number three, the Chiefs. They had a solid draft, addressing team needs, including cornerback taking Trent McDuffie out of Washington, and then taking edge rusher George Karlaftis out of Purdue, and then wide receiver Sky Moore out of Western Michigan. Personally, I think the Chiefs had the best draft. At number two, I have the LA Chargers. They got Zion Johnson out of Boston College to help protect Justin Herbert. I would have really liked to see the Bills land that guy. He is a brick wall. And the Bills stay at number one. Even though I wasn't blown away by their draft, they addressed the need at cornerback. That was smart. They're still chasing after that game-breaking running back, so they took James Cook out of Georgia. We'll just have to see how that works out. And, oh, they took a punter, too. There you go. The Buffalo Bills remain at the top. Don't see any reason why any other team should be the top team in the NFL when it comes to power rankings. I think most people would have to agree. Even those who hate the Bills have to say, hey, Buffalo is the top team in the NFL right now. We'd love to know what you think. Do you have anybody else at the top of your list when it comes to the power rankings after the draft? We'd love to know. Comment below. See you tomorrow.